Hey guys, back again with another video on the Supra. So just take it away. What are we doing today on the Supra? So today we're doing the oil feed, um, oil drain, water feed, water drain. Um, but Coolis is getting up to already now. So right now we're trying to get the thread made onto the sump for the oil drain. As you can see shown in the previous video, the part mark is right there. So we get to making those two threads to put our bolts in. Coolest the master over here has tapped the the threads into the sump where the oil drain is supposed to go. The king, the man himself. <laughs> All right, now we have to do the hardest thing over here, which is put a hole through there so we can attach our fitting, which is. Too much fittings on this table. It's up here. Where? Okay. Where's the fitting? Right. So we can attach this fitting for the oil drain. Just mm. like that. Perfect. Alright, so let's get stuck into that now. We're off to the tool shop to get our right hand the drill bit so we can tap into the sump for the oil drain. That last bolt, uh, that last hole right in the middle, and Coolis is gonna go off to a shop so he can get the oil feed hose together with the fittings and the T piece for the oil pressure switch, which we're gonna use as an oil feed. So we'll get to that in a bit. Got back from the shop now and purchased the right angle drill attachment that we're going to put on the drill and attach this fitting right here this one here we're going to we're going to go around the 12 mil size so that's going to go down through here like this there's no room there so we're going to need that this right angle drill attachment that and put our drill on the end of it and get ourselves the oil drain boys Just tap that hole there in the center. As you can see, right there. Perfect. Just tap that yeah, hole's now tapped into the sump. No, you can't really. There you go. Perfect size hole straight into the sump. So now we'll put a screw our fitting onto there and we start plumbing the turbo up. So let's get it. Ah, so satisfying. Ah.
got our first oil hose made up. That's our drain hose, about to go down. What's going on there, Nick? <laughs> Trying to unbolt the V-band clamp for the wastegate because our first attempt to put everything on all together on there, you are just touching the um, the body here. So I'll, I'll have wrist cramps. <laughs> wrist cramps. All right, that's off. So we're not going to get to installing that in one piece. I'm moving over to the all feed side, so what we're going to do mm. Loud car across the road What we're going to do is, we've already unplugged the oil pressure sensor which is here I'm not sure if you can see that So that's unplugged So now we're going to have to loosen, loosen that bolt there And it comes, on as, it comes out as a long bolt, like that long and we're going to fit our T-piece on there so we can get our oil feed from there and run it around to the turbo side. Let's come back with some goodies. We've got the oil Tef feed hose. Teflon. Teflon. Braided. Yeah. Um, we've got our Raceworks fittings. That one's going to go on to our T-piece which is right here. Yeah. Which is going to screw onto our oil pressure switch, which is right here. So that's going to go like that. That is going to go like that. And then our hose is going to come off there and go onto there. We're going to put this this long bolt back in. Going to screw on like that, and our T-piece goes off the end of it. So we'll get to installing that now. The oil pressure switch, the old oil pressure switch is off. We purchased a new one as well, so we can put that on there too. And that is the T-piece that we've purchased. Goes straight onto there like that, and then our oil feed comes off the end. So Nigo comes two hours later. He really the, the huh? Once the most of the job's done. Why didn't you wake me up? This guy's me up. <laughs> Forget to put Teflon tape onto your fittings, boys, so you don't get any of them oil leaks. Now we've got our T-piece fitted right here. Where the oil pressure switch goes. There's the oil pressure switch. And here's the fitting we're going to be using for our oil feed line. Passing it over the top to where the turbo goes. Now we've also got the fitting on the bottom. Bolted on with the oil drain. So now all that's left to do is put the hoses on, bolt the manifold, bolt the turbo up. So now as you can see here on the throttle body, the boys have also installed this U-shaped bent hose which we're going to use for the water feed for the turbo and believe it or not this hose actually came off my BRZ when I was turboing this that was the water hose that was going from underneath the throttle body and looping around and I kept it on the side for a good cause and it works perfect for our application for the Supra And just like that, we have our oil feed, oil drain, water feed and return to the turbo, officially plumbed up and finished. As you can see, our oil feed comes up and around here, underneath the spark plug cover, down to there. Our water feed comes off the stock location here, 
which was coming off that nipple underneath the um, throttle body as you can see there and then we've got the return with our u-shaped bend back into the turbo which came off our brz another happy chappy over here liking what he sees in this corner mm. the shame mine's a little bit bigger <laughs> Both of mine are a bit yeah, that's what he thinks. No. And that's a wrap for this one, guys. So, thank you so much for watching. If you're liking what you see, be sure to subscribe and like our videos, that helps a lot. And stay tuned for the next one. Hope you enjoy.